Hello and welcome back to the train we're up today we have uh, Christmas gifts. So let's get started. We have the water tower from Menards. It's very nice. It's got Jack the German Shepherd. Um, it doesn't have any illumination but water tower doesn't really need any. It's got some nice wood there. and a counterweighted spout, so... And then we have the Cripple Creek Lumber Yard. So... The doors on the ends open. And then there is... There's a plug on the back and then a plug out the bottom. So, and then it's lit up on the inside. Really nicely weathered. So, there's, we have the Great Lakes Flyer train set, which is. Uh, there's the front of the box with that plastic wrap on it. It has a, uh, a Bachman DC train set. One moment while I try and get. Okay, so here we have the plastic tray with our locomotive and rolling stock. We'll take a look at that in a moment. And then we have a cardboard box which has our instructions. Yep, a uh, steel track and a controller over there and the power supply. So, we're going to right in with okay got saran wrap over it get started with my knife okay so right in the front we've got our Sioux Line locomotive. Uh, it is F7, I believe, is what. A little bit light, so. All wheel drive, all wheel pickup, easy make couplers. Um, the paint looks decent. There's a little bit of weirdness going on on the vents with the uh, Sioux. Fuel tank detail, steps look all right. So that's the locomotive. Has uh, windows everywhere. There should be windows. Is there glazing in the back? There's no glazing on the back door. I can fix that. So, nice Bachman F7. in there. Plastic wheels, but you can buy metal wheels from Bachman. Separately applied brake wheel. That's pretty standard. This is what I'm really looking for. This screw trucks. can replace those anytime with ease. They did have this 
piece of softer plastic back behind that. Next we've got the caboose, the Sioux line caboose, offset cupola, body mounted couplers, that's on everything I believe. Paint looks nice, no glazing. Underbody, it's there. Ladders and rails, those are those are actually pretty fine. Those are finer than some of my current caboose handrails. Mind you, my current cabooses all are vintage. And again, with the nice softer piece of plastic behind that. We have a Chicago and Illinois Midland boxcar. It's got a nice semi-gloss finish on it. Opening doors. No interior floor, but I'd say I'm pretty impressed with that so far. So we're gonna Okay, so we've got the wall wart, the wiring, uh, pretty simple wiring. It's just a uh, standard headphone jack with their plug on it that goes to the track. Uh, we've got Bachman Easy Track. Uh, the black road bed is steel track, so. And then we have the controller. It's got direction switch. Nice smooth action. Um, you can couple it to the... Okay, here it goes. There's an operating headlight. And there's a little bit of noise, it's possibly because it's not broken in yet. Probably needs some. No. Did not cut them. Okay, we're all coupled up. couple on that hill. So there's I'm gonna go back up and see if we can hook on first try. There we go. Don't mind the mess, hey. I've been having some issues with equipment and such. It's pretty slow. And that's just on the DC controller. So. I think I've got uh, a little bit of rough track work back there, so I'll probably have to sort that out. Anyways, thank you for watching. Um, please leave a comment down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.